One by one, the white t-shirts descended on Walmart in Chesapeake. These children, all from Title I schools in Chesapeake and Virginia Beach, each had $20 in hand, a gift from the JCA Foundation and its founder, Jay Archbell. We got 800 children here today from uh, nine different schools, over 350 volunteers here working with all the children. And what we try to do is we try to put one uh, person with three children. On a chilly, rain-soaked Sunday afternoon, the smiles warmed the store and everyone inside. Well, can you hear the buzz? Just a constant little bit of noise. That's the sound of joy. Well, this is a kind of joy that I think just makes Christmas special, and uh, it's, it's a good feeling. I just wish, as Shirley said, we could have everybody just get a glimpse of this. I think they'd have a very special Christmas. For many of the children, the gift card was the only present they would receive this holiday season. So one of the things I ask kids is, what's your favorite holiday? Every kid says Halloween, and it's because anybody can get something on Halloween and you don't have to spend any money. These children, it's not, it's not the norm to get something at Christmas. This for my mom, this for my little baby sister. The really heartbreaking thing you'll see sometimes, that these kids buy nothing for themselves, but they want something for their little sister or for their mother or father. And you know, the, the, the true spirit is just there. A telepod for my dad's game. I don't see any, any, anybody being ungrateful. It's just a lot of people that are really happy to be here and uh, very appreciative. The annual kids cruise is not easy to organize, but these volunteers hardly mind it. You've got to invest in your community. I believe in you live, work, and raise your family in the community that you're a part of, and this is so important. And giving back to your community, we need to get back to that. It's what we're supposed to do as citizens. The community of Chesapeake is truly a community of giving of love. It truly is. It reaches out to all these young people. Incredible. This is kind of contagious, so when others see this, either whether they're business owners or, um, you know, or, or parents that have a little bit of extra, if you can do something for others, this is what it's all about. The Archbells hope the kids' crews will continue to grow so more children can benefit every Christmas. By next year, I would love to be able to double the amount of children that we bring here double the buses, double everything, double the volunteers. I would love to see more children. It just spreads goodwill amongst the city and it just brings camaraderie amongst business people when they can actually come out and see what's going on on a day like today. The foundation even staged a raffle, surprising Third Grade Marshall Elementary with a check for $1,000. For Jay Archbell, the event reminds him how much these children struggle. We raffle off bicycles on the buses and we had a child one year that won the bicycle, and he was actually a child that was homeless. What'd that yeah. do to you? Well, I mean, that just puts you in a whole new perspective. One day, 800 kids, and at least that many dreams fulfilled. I mean, look at them. This is the future of America right here. And maybe in a small way, we're helping. Merry Christmas! Would you like to be part of this worthy cause? Contact the J. Archbell Foundation today.